Hey, it's Jeremy from OpticHouse.com. So, in my continued experiments with doing artwork on the iPad, uh, I have this new piece that I've been working on. I call it Queen of the Harpies. Um, mythology is really rich, so, you know, it makes sense that artists would continually return to it as a theme. And I guess I wanted to start dabbling with doing some pieces of a harpy as kind of a femme fatale slash regal queen slash fierce monster slash, you know, beautiful siren. I get the feeling I'm probably going to do a few more of her. But anyway, I'm trying to draw this one, and I was a little bit kind of... No, not a little bit. I was pretty much gripped with fear when I was starting this. And I think that's a good thing, because... I don't think it happens often enough. Sometimes when an artist gets comfortable with certain working methods, they don't feel that fear when they start a new piece of knowing if it's going to come out okay. And I don't know even why I would have that fear, because let's say that I totally tanked this piece, I spent a few days doing it digitally, and it came out horribly. Then I just take the drawing, go into Photoshop, and start again. I mean, even if I were working traditionally and I absolutely ruined a painting... As long as it's not on a deadline for a client, I'm like, all right, that painting was shite. Let me just, that painting was shite. Let me just start out and, and paint another one. But anyway, for this piece, I was working, definitely trying to stay focused on working out the values, doing the entire piece in grayscale first before I, I ended up doing any color. And as you can see from this process, you'll see the work I do in terms of color at the end is really extremely limited. Almost all of this painting is me trying to work out my darks and my lights, my contrasts. Um, one of the things that I struggled with a little bit was trying not to get too detailed too early, to continue to do the whole thing in passes, you know, just generally blocking in the dark values of the background versus the light values of the figures. Um, not to get too caught up in, in doing detail around the whole body. And as you can see, I leave a lot of work for the, the facial features until the very end because it's very easy to get caught up in working the face because the face is one of the most challenging areas when you're doing an illustration in terms of capturing some character. And it's entirely possible to start doing a painting and you get focused on just the portraiture aspects and you spend all this time working on the face, and then you move around to the rest of the piece, you're like, oh, wait, the rest of this is kind of crap. Whereas I figure if I get everything else in the painting working pretty well, and I'm happy with it, and I'm like, well, fine. If I want to spend, if I've spent, you know, four or five hours working on a piece, and now I want to spend another four or five hours just on the face, I'm like, well, fine. Good, go ahead. Whereas if I spend four or five hours working on a face, I almost feel like I just want to crap out the rest of it. Or if the rest of it isn't working, I'm like, oh, wow, I shouldn't have wasted all this time. So, there was sort of a back and forth challenge there. Um, now, in terms of working with the color, once I had these values, it was really simply, I knew I was going to have a cool color palette. It was going to be dark blues. So then it was just a matter of dropping another layer behind this is one of the other things I was worried about is I, you know, used to working in Photoshop and knowing how to, I do most of those value paintings on the flats, but because I haven't tried setting up a layer of flats to make selections in this Procreate system, I thought, all right, I'm just going to paint in the tones on one layer and then paint in the colors on another. So I wasn't sure how the layer interaction or having stuff on multiply and overlay would work out with each other. But so, and you know, also not necessarily having clean, sharp selections, but it seemed to come out pretty well on this one. So I'm looking forward to experimenting more. I'm looking forward to experimenting and failing, finding what the boundaries are working with this new tool. Anyway, that's it for now. Um, check out my website, OpticHouse.com. If you like these videos, please share them with people. They're short, but there's a ton of them, so go ahead and there's plenty to go around. Um, that's it for now. Go be creative.